The man was quite the magical impressionist. I do a great impression of a hot dog. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity impersonations by Robin Williams in Aladdin. No, no, no. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the funniest and most spot-on impressions of celebrities performed by Robin Williams as Genie in the Disney film Aladdin. Well, I can't do any more damage around this popsicle stand. I'm out of here! Number 10. Walter Brennan Walter Brennan is probably virtually unknown to younger generations, but his influence is still felt today. Can't understand you. Everybody else can. Well, what did you say? The actor had a long career in Hollywood and is one of the few to have won three Oscars. However, his most enduring legacy is arguably popularized by the old prospector archetype. I told you to get back in there. <laughs> and then get told off yourself. <laughs> Every fictional old coot with missing teeth who claims there is gold in them there hills can trace their roots to Brennan. Robin Williams embodies this figure during the Prince Ali song, when the genie transforms into a doddering old man who claims that Aladdin confronted hordes of villains on horseback. He faced the galloping hordes! Number 9. Arsenio Hall While he made a return to late night in the early 2010s, Arsenio Hall is best known for his talk show from the early 1990s. The Arsenio Hall show appealed to younger demographics than its competitors and featured guests previously unseen on talk shows, making it a hit. One of its running gags was that a section of the audience, referred to as the dog pound, would stand up and hoot or woof while pounding their fists. It's this gesture that the genie imitates after becoming excited that Aladdin finds a wish for him transforming into a version of Hall while he does so. All right! Yo, yo, woo, woo, woo. Number 8. William F. Buckley Jr. Uh, almost. There are a few uh, provisos, a, a couple of quid pro quo. While political discourse on American television may seem like an institution today, one of its forerunners was conservative intellectual William F. Buckley Jr. His appearances on talk shows and debates, in particular with liberal counterpart Gore Vidal, opened up the country to the idea of debating perspectives on air. The actual role attempted by, say, President Johnson uh, during the riots of his administration might very easily have exacerbated the situation rather than helped to modify it. Buckley Jr. was famous for his distinct, some might say pretentious, transatlantic accent and use of uncommon or archaic words. And it's these that Robin Williams imitates as the genie transforming into him both times when he has to explain the rules of his wish-granting abilities. Ah, uh, Master, there are a few uh, addendas, uh, some quid pro quo. Don't talk back to me, you big blue lout! Number 7. Ed Sullivan Williams was a huge fan of The Ed Sullivan Show growing up, so it's no surprise that he channeled the iconic TV personality in Aladdin. Mind you, he also impersonates other frequent guests of the show. He often imitated including one we'll come back to later, and puppeteer Senior Wenches. But we had to give this spot to William's impression of the show's titular host. Here is an old friend. When Genie first introduces himself, he transforms into a caricature of Sullivan, emulating his voice and speech pattern. Right here, direct from the lamp, right here for your very much wish fulfillment. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe he exaggerates a little bit, but that's what makes it fun. Number 6. Peter Lorre You imbecile! You bloated idiot! Another actor whose work might not be known by the kids today, Austro-Hungarian-born Peter Lorre is famous for his creepy foreign guy archetype in film. Lorre's distinctive pale face and accent often saw him typecast as a murderer or evil mastermind, although he did also do a stint on the other side of the law as Detective Mr. Moto. Half the world spends its time laughing at the other half, and both are fools. Robin Williams imitates Laurie's voice when Genie explains to Aladdin that he can't bring people back from the dead, taking on the form of a zombie-like being only slightly more disturbing than some of Laurie's actual characters. Rule number three! I can't bring people back from the dead. It's not a pretty picture. I don't like doing it! Number five, Groucho Marx. Arguably the most famous of comedic group, the Marx Brothers, Groucho was renowned for his sly remarks and witty banter. Equally famed for his signature mustache and glasses, he and his brothers appeared in many early comedies, 
some of which are considered among the funniest of all time. How do you like that? I haven't been on the job five minutes and already she's making advances to me. Robin Williams impersonates Groucho's usual clever, sarcastic voice and trademark appearance when telling Aladdin that he gets no refunds on his wishes. No substitutions, exchanges, or refunds. <laughs> now I know I'm dreaming. Likely in reference to Groucho's part in the film A Night in Casablanca, which saw him running a hotel. This is a family hotel and I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Sir, this lady is my wife. You should be ashamed. If this lady is your wife, you should be ashamed. Number 4. Robert De Niro Famed for his roles as tough, no-nonsense characters and criminal types, Robert De Niro requires no introduction. Even so, Genie's impersonation here is a bit blink and you'll miss it, although still recognizable. Excuse me? <laughs> Are you looking at me? Did you rub my lamp? When Aladdin seems ready to forego the Genie's wishes, Robin Williams responds in a New York accent reminiscent of De Niro's iconic scene in Taxi Driver. You talking to me? talking to me? While the animators don't make him look like De Niro, as with the other impressions on our list, we feel the bit takes enough inspiration from the scene for it to count. Number 3. Arnold Schwarzenegger One of the most famous action movie stars of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger also has one of the most distinctive and imitated voices. The Austrian actor's accent and occasionally monotone delivery have made him a target of parody for decades, and Robin Williams was no slouch in that regard. I'm not going anywhere. When the genie is listing off his strengths to Aladdin, the magical man transforms into a Schwarzenegger-like muscle form and boasts of his impressive power to his new master. The ever impressive. Well, at least he didn't go for the ultra-obvious I'll be back quote. I'll be back. Number 2. Rodney Dangerfield Another frequent guest of The Ed Sullivan Show, referenced earlier on our list, Rodney Dangerfield was a comic and actor who practically embodied self-deprecating humor. Thank you, man. Now, I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? <laughs> Dangerfield's act often featured him discussing how people make fun of him, while he made unnecessary adjustments to his tie. Robin Williams does his best Dangerfield when the genie engages the magic carpet in a game of chess. Breaking the fourth wall to speak to the audience, just as if he were performing stand-up, he expresses disappointment that the magic carpet is kicking his butt. Can't believe it. I'm losing to a rug. No respect, I tell you. The graveyard is two blocks to the left, okay? <laughs> Number 1. Jack Nicholson One of the most nominated actors in Academy Award history, Jack Nicholson has had a distinguished career, lending his unmistakable talents to over 60 movies. He's best known for his more manic roles, like in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and The Shining. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. Genie takes on the actor's appearance and mannerisms when he offers Aladdin advice on how to pursue Princess Jasmine, all while sporting Nicholson's trademark grin and sunglasses. All right, Sparky, here's the deal. If you wanna court the little lady, you gotta be a straight shooter, do you got it? Complete with Nicholson's halting, overly enunciated speech pattern, William's impression is both hilarious and dead on, making this an easy choice for number one on our list. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.